hi all welcome in next video so in this video we are going to see like how we can uh, convert text to a speech like if you wanted to implement any functionality in which user wants to uh, listen that particular text so how to implement that feature so that we are going to see in this video so we are going to use uh, html javascript and if we want so we can use the regex uh, visual view engine like uh, CSS HTML code also <clears throat> we can do it both way so we will be doing it so what we are going to see uh, firstly we will be seeing the implementation and then we will be seeing the demo for the same so if we wanted to go through the like MVC pattern so if we wanted to implement it through the CSS HTML so I also implemented through the HTML viewer so you can see that the text area I used one and one button so button is in html but the text area is in uh, cs html code okay so if you want uh, to convert it in uh, put a simple html text area so that you also can <coughs> sorry so let's move ahead so for the view we need to make this uh, two changes like one we need to take the text area and where we will be putting the text and one button in which we are triggering the speech event on the click of the button and definitely a javascript code for uh, implementing that particular library which is converting text to a speech okay so if you see we used a speech syn synthesis utrans for this particular implementation so speech synthesis and utrans basically used for converting text into a speaking words Okay. so we will be seeing that this kind of uh, view is going to be um, going to be uh, developed after the implementation so we will be seeing that let's jump into the our application <coughs> so see so this one I recently implemented in my test application so if you see here so I implemented this if you put here anything like hi hi techways high-tech ways so I think it has been stopped let me run it again Okay, so it, we are not able to listen because I'm using a uh, mic. Mic is connected with my laptop, so I think that is um, excluding the connection for the speaker. So what I'll doing? I'll just removing the mic for a while, and we'll show you like how it. Okay. High tech ways. High tech ways. I hope, I hope you can hear it clearly. How are you? 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 Okay, please like subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Okay. Please like and subscribe. So this way uh, we can like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Okay, so let's see the code what we can. Please uh, like and subscribe. What the changes required to change, uh, like do this implementation? So I implemented in this my test application. <coughs> so what I did firstly, I firstly uh, just added one method here uh, for returning. Uh, was view so I added one controller method then I added the script here for speaking speaking script okay so either we can use the event listener or in the controller I have already used let me open see here I already called this method text to speech okay so since it's been already calling here so it's up to you whether you want to use your event listener or not but if you want you can remove it it will not be impacting anywhere 
okay <coughs> and what else we do i added a reference here text to speech for that javascript library the file for the javascript so that is here in the html we can put the direct url or folder path but i'm using since i'm using the css html it's a mvc pattern so i just put here the mvc pattern only okay so let's go to our mvc application and see the implementation so currently no file is in edit mode we did not make any changes on it so let's start implementing so firstly i'm going to open the home controller okay so at the last i'm going to put my uh, action method so let's come here do the same implementation so that we can keep it consistent so control c the second one is not required i think yeah this one is not required i put there i was expecting maybe some um, kind of modification will require but that was not so it's fine I will, I will be adding one view here so add view mvc5 view so text to speech this uh, empty model we can put not an issue okay add taking a little bit time okay so this one is now implemented text to speech so i will be converting it to h3 since h2 is a little bit bigger okay <coughs> let's go to this one is the CS estimate so firstly the reference uh, will require so let's add the reference we, because the, we have created the same file names in our MVC application as well so we can put the same reference details here so it would be fine not an issue okay so basically we need to reference this file okay and this is the simple jQuery reference and this is the main.js reference so it's all up to you what reference you have i just put the two different types of references here okay ui.js this one this one but i think this both two are not required but still if you want you can keep otherwise you can remove it what further uh, text to speech is there so let's take this ui part okay so i think this should be there at the top should be here okay so so um he's asking for the model but model is specifically not required so we can remove this text area okay removing that we can uh, remove this one or we can put the uh, detail here okay, let keep consistent otherwise it may create ambiguity so we will have to add this qr code model here qr code what we had done in that actually uh, <coughs> We did not make the big changes we just have uh, created one property in the qr code if you go here no navigation is required so our application name will record what is the name crms mbcf i think crms mbcf yeah so we will be putting here crms mbcf okay and then model q now we can navigate I'll show you what the property is there. So we have just one uh, string property which will be containing some text. So basically, I had created this one for the QR code generation that I created in last video. So this one is uh, I used the same here. But basically, this one is not required since I already implemented this kind of uh, behavior. That's why I put here. So let's keep it this one as it is. 
appearance and we see as an item text area for since we are using the model okay and we will get remove this this so view is completed now the time is for the control script so what we did there in control script is the control script so we added one function in the control script at the last so we will be putting as it is let's open here in control script so we have a control script here so let's go at the bottom control v okay <coughs> so control script got added here okay and one more thing that we can do that i did not uh, did not do there in the test application that we can put this you are in the layout so what we would be having like we would have we would have a uh, facility to click and open the <coughs> url the same way like we did for the qr code generation so let's keep this feature here control v generate qr code that instead of this we will put text to this speech this is the text that will get displayed and the method is text to speech okay the home controller and the styling is same so let's run it hopefully it should work It's taking a little bit time. Let's see it. Mm -hmm. Let's close this text one. Maybe taking a little bit more time. Taking a longer time. Is there any debugger? Yes, okay, it's skin now. <coughs> so, taken with let's so text to speech page is here. So, let's click it. So, it is opening on the same way. Let's put some text. It is not speaking since my mic. Miss Kid Boys. Hi, Tech and Boys. Okay. So it's been now implemented. And it's not going to be scripted. How are you? 
So hope, you, hope you understood. Okay, so you can implementation the same way. Let me know in case of any doubt or query. Uh, thank you so much for the watching. See you on the ne next video. Please comment in case of any query or doubt. Thank you.